Next question. Peggy? I guess I was wondering if you can say um, what impact, you know, when I look at how hard you've, you've worked on this campaign or what, what all three of you have done to promote um, Cleveland and the region, then we look at that video that the kid from Akron puts on YouTube, and, and I don't want to even give it any more press. Or Please the plane to the, but, but Karen, when I say that, um, you know, and I'm thinking of the plane deal, like what you're up against, like I, I just wonder, I'm hoping there's no impact, but I'm wondering what impact you know, that kind of stuff that you really have no control over has when you look at this region. Um, and the plane dealer, like that, that, uh, that's the other part. You'll hear you have some kid underground doing that, and that I can almost understand. But when you have the plane dealer not willing to report, um, you know, the, the company in Chagrin Falls. So I'm just wondering how difficult that makes your effort when you have, you know, this kid in Akron, or you have like the plane dealer not reporting that. I just wonder how you counter sort of those that's efforts. That's a great question, and I'm actually guessing that your question is, is um, doesn't really need an answer, right? It's rhetorical. Well, I, no, the, I wonder the, if it does. I, the, yeah, the, I guess well, the answer does it impact? Like, does it, it really? It does. It does. And and this this is the really this is the sad part. Um, the uh, absolutely the negativity, um, Northeast Ohioans' negativity um, impacts us a great deal. Uh, and the video that the kid from Akron did, um, that's gotten I don't know dozens of thousands of hits. Um, tremendously impacts us, as well as um, the plain dealer negativity there. I can tell you that uh, for site selection consultants who help companies expand nationally, the first place that they go when they're interested in learning about Northeast Ohio's business assets is Cleveland.com. Why? Because they don't know that that website is owned by the plain dealer and not owned by my organization, right? So we have a huge marketing campaign to try to ensure that those folks go to Cleveland plus business.com, which is where we send them. And that is um, with national site selection consultants, it's absolutely working. We don't have to worry about them. However, they all do have a challenging time when trying to convince businesses, their clients, to come here because their clients will go to cleveland.com and read about negativity. And so we are actively trying every single day, and Chris and I talk about this all the time, trying to pitch the positive stories or interesting angles to the plane dealer. We actually have a, a, a great relationship with them and, and we're working, I mean, they have to report what they have to report, but just trying to get more of the, um, both sides of the story told. Um, an example of that is last year when the fourth poor city came out. If you go back and you read the article, they actually wrote, um, while the region fares fairly well, the city, blah, blah, that was a huge win for me. I was like, yeah, all the, you know, all the time I've spent with them, it was small, but okay. The other, the other thing to answer your question um, of how we're trying to combat it, we do, you know, frequently right now, hopefully you've seen that to combat that particular YouTube negative um, video, there is an effort that the, that Positively Cleveland, the Convention and Visitors Bureau, has to, for, for citizens of Northeast Ohio to, their, to try to make their own positive video. So that is, hopefully you've done that and you will do that and there's great prizes, so that's fun. Um, but I will tell you that it makes our job incredibly difficult and on nearly a daily basis someone sends me some negative article about Cleveland or Northeast Ohio. I could spend my entire day doing nothing more than just responding to all of the lists of 10 this and 10 that that Forbes.com comes out with. Um, and instead, what I just try to do is just keep focusing on the positive and keep focusing on we are the, the progress that we are making because we are working on priorities. What I will say is that, and what I do is I will ask all of you, please don't let me be the only one who writes to Forbes.com about this stuff, right? Forbes.com is always coming out with their 10 dying cities. Please don't make me the only one who writes to them, right? Please don't make me the only one who tells the plain dealer that they need to start reporting both sides of the of the story. It can't just be me or the three of us up here, right? It's got to be the whole region. And so a major, while our funders, including our largest funder right here, the Fund for Economic Future, pay us to go promote the region externally, I actually spend a lot of my time in the region trying to talk to as many chambers of commerce, business people, chambers of commerce, businesses, professionals are probably in a total due. Um, this is my third speech this week. Um, because I need to get to as many Northeast Ohioans as possible and start saying, I need you to be a positive ambassador. Because when, I'll give you three examples. When someone, how many of you, you don't just say that you've ever done this, and I assume you haven't, but when someone moves here from California, what does a Clevelander say? Why'd you do that? Yeah. <laughs> the weather. Right. Do, folks, do people in Chicago complain about their weather all the time? No. Okay, Minneapolis is a growing, thriving community. They complain, no. Okay, if I hear one more thing about the crime, 
Are you telling me New Yorkers don't have crime? Okay, we've got to get over the negativity because what happens when we say, why would you do that to someone? They think, oh shoot, I better pack my bags and get out of here, okay? So how about instead if we said, welcome, you're gonna love it here. What if we said that? Okay, another example, right? So what happens if you say that, or someone says, oh, I'm thinking about moving there, and we say why, and that person is someone that Ben Venu is trying to recruit as their next senior vice president. Do we think that that person's gonna move here? Heck no. What if that person that we say why is someone who I'm trying to bring 1,000 jobs to the region? You think that person's gonna bring 1,000 jobs to the region? Heck no. So we need to get over ourselves, and we need to start being positive ambassadors, and all of you know that because you're elected officials. But I spend a lot of my time going around the region, one by one, trying to get as many professionals, uh, community leaders, um, especially accountants, lawyers, those people who work on deals and projects to start being positive ambassadors and to be salespeople. One thing that we all can do, everyone knows a business person outside of Northeast Ohio, a family member, a friend, or a colleague. Why couldn't we all become Team Neo salespeople and start saying to colleagues across the, the, the country or across the world, hey, is your business expanding? If so, have you ever thought about Northeast Ohio? Why don't we think about doing that? So I will make a plug that if any of you have, you can think of other groups, your Chamber of Commerce groups, whatever it might be in your region, that I can come give that message to, that is my way, one person at a time, to start combating the negativity. Thank you. Thank you.